hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm giving you an update on how i healed my scar when i got burnt by ghost bond lace glue i'm also going to be reading everybody's comments because i see it's getting a lot of attention and a lot of people have been going through the same thing that i've went through i will also show you guys the products that i use to heal my skin and what kind of glue that i use now so if you're interested in seeing how i healed my skin then keep on watching <music> I'm going to be reading everybody's comments. I won't answer everybody's questions because me answering the questions is showing what products I use and what glue I use now. So I'll wait until later on in the video. I just want to read what everybody had to say, everybody's feedback. So first, um, Kia's World. She said, I got the same burn mark, but my skin didn't come off. It's peeling. So when I made this video, it was in January. It is now September going into October. And as you guys can see, the scar it's there but it's not there so i could tell because of course it's my skin but it's not noticeable and it has healed over time it took about a month to fully heal i was consistent i was using the products i needed to use but you know the scar it's still visible a little bit but thank you kia for commenting and telling me your experience because this shit sucks natalie aguar said have you tried another glue that has not given you a reaction yes i have and i will share with you guys later on in the video for sure just me said yeah i think this happens when you put too much glue because i applied three layers of ghost bond and my forehead hurt so bad but this didn't happen to me the last 20 times i've applied the glue because usually i only put one light layer everybody's experience is different but with my experience i at this time was never doing three layers four layers not even two layers it was always for my wig cap i used got to be spray to melt it i did not use any glue at all and then for applying the wig i did one layer of ghost bond this was a closure wig this was not even a lace front tool but i use one layer and my skin burnt off and i just think that it's sensitive skin or either the way they're making ghost bond glue now they're adding more chemicals to it thank you for definitely sharing your experience with me and i hope it gets better i hope this video helps because this shit is not fun and it doesn't feel good Indigo slim said how do you clear your hairline i'm going through this right now definitely gonna put you on but thank you so much for commenting miss samaya said omg same thing happened to me but my skin didn't come off it left scabs on my face and hairline it's not a good feeling like this this is not a good feeling so i'm really really hoping that everything that i share in this video helps each and every one of you guys rihanna phillip said same thing happened to me sis and this was eight months ago so i hope you came up with a better solution i hope you found a way to heal your skin so please definitely share it down below in the comments miss tiana underscore x said yh i burnt mine and i got a little patch i can't even take the wig off because i just put it on and i'm gonna go out i just moved it back a little i hope you're feeling better honestly and beloved said hey love stick to got to be and what are you using to heal your forehead same thing happened to me so got to be glue is not my cup of tea when i first started doing my wigs i was using got to be glue because i was not educated about you know what lace glue works good and what lace glue doesn't once i transitioned to glue the only glue that i've used before was ghost bond glue and i seen Aaliyah j hair tutorial in a wig video using that glue and her wig came out so nice so i was like you know what tried it then i look at the ingredients nothing i just you know put this glue on my skin and it affected me in the long run so definitely got to be is good with closures for me or i could use it in the winter time because i'm a thick girl and i sweat and the first place i sweat is my forehead so got to be is not long term for me it's like well, let's say i'm going out for one night and i need to put a wig on i'll do got to be but to have it for a week long and i have to work take care of my kid and, and do multiple things i won't have time to keep applying 
the wig was got to be and just you know trying to make sure it's maintained but that's honestly great advice because that was the first product that I used to start wearing my wigs. So thank you so much for your feedback. Thank you. And thank you for commenting as well. So now I'm going to get into what I use to heal my skin. So I use a face wash. Of course, if you have sensitive skin or even in a skincare routine, you're always supposed to have two face wash. One is a cream face wash, which is very moisturizing. Cream is supposed to moisturize your skin and clean off one layer of dirt and a foam face wash, which is the second wash you're supposed to use is supposed to get deep under the skin layers and take out all the dirt oils and clean your pores i was using cerave for sure but this has helped my skin tremendously and it's two in one it's the cream and the foam but this wash does a whole lot in one also i use um porcelana which is a skin lightening cream it is not a bleach it does not bleach your skin it's supposed to lighten hyperpigmentation where you have dark spots so of course this little patch that i had was way darker before it was like black like the color of my hair you could obviously tell i got burnt there so when i started using porcelana it worked for me and you can find this in Rite Aid, Walgreens, Walmart. You're not going to see it near all the regular products like CeraVe or Cetaphil or Aveeno. This is always in the cut, you know. This is very underrated. A lot of people don't know about this product and it's cheap. It's like $6.99, $7, $8, under $10 and it does the job. So put this on at night and you'll definitely see the result. And lastly, CeraVe Healing Ointment. Now, I'm going to be honest, I did not use this specific cream, but I used CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, and that helped tremendously as well. But this is a healing ointment. It's supposed to heal cracked and chaffed skin. It's supposed to heal minor cuts, scrapes, and burns, it says in the back, and protects the skin from cold air and drying effects of wind so this is good in the winter time this is good if you have eczema is eczema approved and it's the skin protectant so definitely use this as well lastly the glue that i use now is almighty bond kiss lace glue i use the kit which is 16.99 on amazon and it works better it's sweat proof it's waterproof and the wig does not slip off one time i had a wig on for almost a month but i took it off anyway because i wanted to reinstall it and wear it in a different style so i had to use the remover which gets very soapy and it, you could tell that it's like a shampoo specifically for the lace glue to remove that so you don't have to use alcohol take the glue off your wig or anything like that and i use a skin protecting spray okay it's a liquid that protects your skin it's water-based it's not oil-based of course those are the products that i use to heal my skin and the glue that i use now to rock my wigs i hope this video helped you guys and please leave a comment down below let me know how you're doing now how's your skin if you have any solutions for all of us please leave it down below and give me your feedback. Let me know if this works for you in the long run. And definitely share with your family and friends. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.